Yeah, I don't shower before they go to the gym. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care if people know. All right, I don't give a shit. I'll keep doing it. Hello and welcome to the Hypertrophy Odyssey, chapter 106. It is the third day of the week, AKA the vampire killer workout. I am on my way to the gym. I am feeling pretty good. Upper body feels great, nothing too crazy here. On my way there, feeling pretty all right in the terrifier cutoff because I actually get to wear it slash it would make sense to wear these on upper body days versus lower body days. Wonder if I'll get any uh, stairs because this uh, shirt as you can see is uh, covered in fake blood so that's gonna be fun to see how that goes. Hopefully I don't get kicked out or some shit. But anyways with that being said today's subject matter which has come up because again what I'm wearing and that is I guess, what, what, what are you even calling this video? But I, I guess it's something along the lines of gym hygiene and me. There you go. I think, I think that's what I'm going to probably call it. So for starters, I, like I said in the beginning, I don't shower before I go to the gym. It is relatively early in the morning. I go straight from waking up basically to going to the gym. That's all I'm, that's what I do. So I don't shower until later in the day. I don't, I don't think it's necessary to shower before the gym. Now there are some people who do shower before the gym or at the gym, which is fine. I'm not going to be against those people. I'm actually not against anybody with, when it comes to hygiene for the most part except for one thing when it comes to the gym you see I'm gonna say this and I know I don't know if this is a really a hot take or anything like that but if you stink at the gym okay <laughs> like I it's one of the few places where it's all right if you stink I'm not necessarily gonna like it I'm not gonna be like <laughs> like, you know, I mean, there are sometimes where there are people that are uh, push it to the like limits, obviously. There's particularly one person at the gym that I will say genuinely stinks. But even then, I'm like, ah, he's at a gym. I mean, what am I going to do? Like, what am I, who am I to uh, like say your body odor sucks, you know? And obviously, there are levels to it. I'm not going to say like everybody can get away with it. And there are like certain people that are like, Ugh really you know like barfy throwy uppy but still when it comes down to it if you stink at the gym all right like it's not anything one weird or two like that big of a deal in my mind because of course you stink at the gym you're sweating like i'd almost be like huh you don't stink you know what i mean and then there are people who go the other extreme where it's like they are wearing like perfume and like axe if you're a guy because that still is a, a product that's popular for some reason but those people leave their own it's a sweet stench but not a good stench uh they leave their stench everywhere and then you're like oh this person was here you know what i mean like you, you can tell that they were walking by which i don't necessarily hate either it's just kind of like oh damn what is going going on here it's like the opposite direction where you're overcompensating for some smell which it happens but generally speaking if you stink at the gym you stink it's it's fine I'm not I'm all right with it there are people who are gonna be against it but it's kind of like farting in a bathroom uh, where else are you gonna do it it makes no sense to me to be angry about something like that but that is what it is with that I will say this there are limits to it obviously like you know there are people who smell like straight dookie but then again that is so few few and far between I feel like most people that go to the gym are regularly aware of their hygiene people who may not be regularly aware of their hygiene are people like smash players and such uh, gamers those types of people those are the ones that uh, would say probably aren't aware of their own uh, bodily odors and stuff but the point is that I'm trying to make on this part and we'll, we'll get into the voiceover about like all the hygiene and all that other stuff is that basically it's just it's interesting wearing this shirt like okay I'm gonna reveal a secret here wear long shirts that cover up my pits I don't wear deodorant oh my god now when I wear shirts like this because my pits are open I wear deodorant is that a crazy thing yes and no uh, should I probably wear it more often yes 
but I don't because my smell isn't that strong. It is strong at a certain point. There has to be multiple factors to go into that strong, super strong smell. But if it's open, then, you know, all fair game right there, unfortunately. But still, it's like one of those things where I'm like, yeah, this entire conversation comes up because I think of hygiene when wearing this or seeing what other people are wearing or re-wear things or other people re-wear things, you know, stuff like that. And I'm like, uh, or like certain items and stuff. We'll, we'll talk more about it on the inside. All right, so start this day off with overhead press. Sorry for the lack of focus on the camera. I didn't realize that the camera was focused on the spittle in the mirror and not the fucking, uh, you know, reflection. I thought that I was getting that. So kind of annoying, but it is what it is. So when it comes to hygiene at the gym, there I'm very much one person that would say, if you leave the machine wet, don't. <laughs> you know, like leave it wet from the cleaning product that they have. But besides that, uh, don't leave it wet with your sweat. I have been guilty of leaving it sweaty, I'm not gonna lie. But most of the time I try to clean it as much as I can if I know I'm getting it sweaty. Now, do I clean every single instrument that I use? So for example, the barbell, I find cleaning the barbell is a little useless per se. Don't think that you're gonna really do much to the barbell uh, in terms of cleaning it. But even then, that's a little bit of a different style of hygiene. I meant more, this entire video is more along the lines of hygiene when it comes to like you smelling, you know what I mean? And you coming into the gym. Like I said, I'm not going to judge anybody who comes into the gym and starts stinking it up a little bit. Now, obviously, there are limits to it. I said it before and I'll say it again here. And that is that you don't want to be overtly trying to stink. You know, you don't want to be like three days out and then all of a sudden decide, oh, hey, I'm going to go to the gym without showering and then I'll shower after three days of not washing my ass. Yeah, no, that doesn't work out as well as you would probably hope that's disgusting you know what i mean like that there there are levels to it like i've said and that's like there's level two extreme i think if you know that you are you know somebody that will perspirate a lot and stink a lot because of the perspiration the other thing about it too is that you don't necessarily have to do everything like i said before i don't put on deodorant all the time when i go to the gym now does that make me always stinky no not really honestly uh it takes a little bit my pits to stink honestly but they do eventually but it's a combination of things that have to happen in order for them to stink really badly and i think this is also a nice little conversation topic that i wanted to jump off on and that was that you know we acknowledge bad smells and we acknowledge good smells but we never acknowledge smells period you know, there are certain smells that are neither good nor bad. I think most of the time certain smells are just uh, dependent on the person, whether they like it or not. It's very rare to just have a neutral smell and just it's what, what it is, you know what I mean? There are certain smells like outside in the grass, but even then that's like a combination of smells. Or like some people just kind of smell, but they don't have a bad smell. They just smell, you know? I feel like if you've ever been in a relationship, you know exactly what I'm talking about, where the other person just kind of smells. There's like a smell to them. It's not necessarily a bad smell or a good smell. Well, sometimes it can be a good smell depending on how the things are going. But, you know, there's a, just a neutral smell. And I think the gym itself, because of the multitudes of people's odors all in the air, kind of make it into a neutral, smell so it never really it, it's really rare to get it overpoweringly bad or overpoweringly good and the most it'll get in the good terms would, would be the chemicals in the air but that's that's you know that's not that great in theory but still it's just an interesting topic to me personally that we don't actually acknowledge the middle of just it just smells you know what i mean but anyways when it comes to hygiene and stuff, as long as you are relatively clean and are clean in the gym, I think most people don't mind. It's one of those things that I'm like, you know, if you were stinking up the joint and it's pretty obvious, I think others will tell. Like, for example, the guy that I talked about earlier, there's one particular guy that 
definitely smells. Uh, I can tell you that right now. And it's pretty obvious because I remember one time I made eye contact with somebody else that was while he was working in between us. And after he left, we made eye contact and it was the you smell that too, right? You know, there was nothing. There's no extra communication needed. And we knew what it was. Now, that's a, an extreme example of something where you can be nasty about it. You can be that person, but you don't want to be that person because now every time I see this guy, I'm like, oh God, I need to get the hell out of here or out of the area because he's going to stink up the joint. There are days, I'm not gonna lie, where I think I'm the stinky guy only because I use a machine and then all of a sudden, or I'm using something and all of a sudden people are leaving and like all around me and I become the only person in the section of the gym. I hope that I'm not the stinky guy, but at the same time, I actually have no idea. I don't think I do. And I've had at least a couple people tell me before that I go to the gym that I don't smell really bad or anything like that. but. I wouldn't say I wouldn't know, but I do take precautions. Like, so for example, when I wear this sleeveless shirt, I got to wear deodorant because my pits are barren for the world to see, you know what I mean? And they don't smell the worst, but they can smell bad or unpleasant is the better way to describe it. So I just try to make it so that that smell isn't there. If you know what you smell like or what those bad smells are or what causes those bad smells, because for me, it's heavy sweating. Lifting weights will pick up a little bit of a sweat, but I won't be heavy sweating. I'm talking about like cardio for like half an hour, heavy sweats. So that's why I'm not too worried about putting on deodorant, but unless it's open. But if you are somebody that you know you're going to do some heavy ass sweating at the gym, definitely wear deodorant. Don't You don't have to go all like crazy and wear cologne or do anything like that. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, that's totally fine. Please don't forget to do that. And uh, don't forget to wipe your ass too. And we're back. Welcome to the workout debriefing. Exercise is not filmed. None. Exercise is skipped. V-bar tricep push down. Gonna probably have to buy the implement because it keeps getting used a lot on this day. So I'm probably gonna have to buy one relatively soon and just keep it in my bag and then that way I can actually do it, unfortunately. But it is what it is. I'm starting the workout debriefing a little early because I'm going to go to a store that is right down the street. So uh, this is going to be a shorter debriefing than normal. But anyways, to get back onto the main subject matter, hygiene in the gym. I am for one that would say that, listen, as long as you're not like actively trying to stink up the joint, you know what I mean? I, I think you're fine. If you end up smelling a little and doing all that stuff, th that's fine. I, in the gym, it is acceptable. Now there are levels to it, obviously. If you know you stink, maybe wear some deodorant. You know what I mean? If you're gonna wear something where you're gonna have pits that are open, wear deodorant or put on a little bit of uh, cologne if you feel like that is necessary. Don't do too much because then you don't want to be the person that is known as the, as the cologne guy or the ax guy or girl or the specific perfume person you also don't want to be known as the stinky one which is hopefully what I is not my nickname because I really hope I'm not the stinky one I feel like maybe I might be sometimes but it's not all the time I'm definitely not the stinky one I maybe I'll do a video about nicknames next week but we'll have to wait and see but with that being said, tell me what you think in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions about hygiene and the gym. Is it different? Do you feel like you can get away with being a little bit more looser on the terms of BO versus somewhere else, like let's say a restaurant? But that's a little extreme, but you, you get the point what I'm trying to make is. But please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions about this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this video with anybody who may or may not like it. I will be back on tomorrow with a new video. Video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.